So hello and welcome everyone to this new video tutorial on MariaDB. My name is Shivam and today in this video we will learn about the concept of temporary tables. So let's see the agenda for this video. So first in this video we will understand what are temporary tables. After this we will understand two different methods to create a temporary table in MariaDB. First we will cover a standard method by using the create temporary table statement and after this we will understand how we can use the select statement in MariaDB to create a temporary table. After this we will also see how we can replace the definition of an existing temporary table and in the last we will understand how we can drop or delete a temporary table in MariaDB. So without any further delay let's move to the very first topic and understand the concept of temporary tables. So as the name specifies a temporary table in MariaDB is just like a standard table uh, which we can use to store results for a temporary period of time. Now it is a special type of a database table that enables us to store result set in temporary form. So, however uh, the scope of this temporary table is restricted to the current session in which it has been created. So once the current session in which the temporary table has been created ends the temporary table also gets deleted. So the main purpose of a temporary table in MariaDB is to store instant results in the form of table. Now next question arises how we can create this temporary tables. Now before creating a temporary table we need to understand certain permissions. So if we are using an administrative user then we don't need any permission we can simply use the create temporary table command to create a temporary table in MariaDB and if we are using a non-admin user then we will need to have the create temporary table privilege on the database before successfully creating the temporary tables. So this is the command that we can use to grant the create temporary table privilege in which we need to specify the database name in which we want to create the temporary table and we also need to specify the username. So let's practically understand how we can use this command. So here we can look at this SQL code where first we are using this create user statement to create a username James. Then we are using this grant create temporary table privilege and uh, here we have specified the database as MariaDB tips and here we have specified the username. Now let's execute this. So here we can see the command has been executed successfully without any error or warning. Now we can use this uh, user James uh, to create temporary tables in this MariaDB tips database. So once we have a user with correct permissions to create a temporary table in MariaDB, uh, we can simply use this syntax. So the syntax of creating temporary table is quite similar to creating a standard database table. Just we need to use this temporary keyword in between this create table statement. And then after this, uh, just like we define columns and column definition, we can define that for temporary table as well. Now let's take one example. So here we can see one example uh, where first we are using this create temporary table statement to create a temporary table uh, with this name temp underscore us underscore states and uh, within this we have specified the columns first is the state id of integer data type then we have specified the state name uh, which is of varchar 50 and then we have specified state code. So after this we are using this insert into statement uh, to insert 10 rows in this temporary table. So if we execute this, so here we can see uh, the command has been executed successfully without any error. Now what we can do, we can use a select statement to check the result for this temporary table. So here I will simply write select star from and execute it. And here we can see the result. So with this we have successfully created our first temporary table in MariaDB. Now let's uh, look at another method of creating temporary tables where we will understand how we can use a select statement. For this execution what we will do, uh, we will first create a standard uh, database table uh, which is named as department table. Uh, it consists of three columns, uh, department number, department name and department location. And then we are simply using this insert into statement to insert five records in it. So once this department table has been created, then we are we will create this temporary table with this name uh, temp department. And then within the body of this temporary table, we will use this select statement where we are selecting two columns from the department table that we just created above. So by using the select statement we can simply copy the definition and data of this uh, department table now let's execute this example after executing uh, we will uh, use the select statement so let's simply use the select statement to see the result select star from 
this was our table name let's click on execute so here we can see the result so here we have seen how we can use this select statement to simply copy the table definition and even the table data using select statement and create a temporary table with it now let's move to the next topic and understand how we can replace the definition of a temporary table so uh, to replace the temp definition of the temporary table we will first create one temporary table so uh, you can look at this code here we are using this create temporary table statement to create a temporary table name temp underscore states now the definition consists of four columns state id state name state code and country name let's click on execute and we can also see the description of this table the esc so this is the whole table definition it consists of four columns of different data types one primary key and how we can uh, replace this definition now so for this we will use uh, this statement create or replace temporary tables so we simply need to add this or replace option while creating a temporary table and in the definition we can easily specify whatever changes that we want so in this example what we have done we have added one more column which was country code of varchar3 so if we look at our previous definition of this table we can see uh, it consists of four columns id name code and country name and for this we have defined one more column that is country code now if we execute this it will simply change the definition of the table and we can also check this by description statement click on execute we here we can see uh, another column is been added now next the question arises can we delete this temporary table so the answer to this question is yes we can delete it even though it is not required because once we end this session that all the temporary tables created within within that session will be automatically deleted but still if you want to manually delete any temporary table we can do this by using this drop temporary table statement now uh, remember this uh, specifying temporary keyword here is quite important so with this it will specifically get to know that uh, the server needs to delete this temporary table named temp underscore states so uh, by this statement we are simply deleting this temporary table that we just created in our previous example now if we execute this once the execution has been completed we can check the existence by using the select statement and if the table does not exist it will return this error that the mariadb tips dot temp underscore state does not exist it means the temporary table has been deleted successfully so with this we have come to the end of this video in this video we have seen what are temporary tables and we have also covered different methods to create temporary tables we have even seen how we can replace the definition of an existing temporary table and in the last we have seen how we can manually delete a temporary table in mariadb so if you really like this video please press the like button and do subscribe to our youtube channel for more tutorials thanks for watching have a great day